They're stubborn and they're stupid. And we all know, let's be honest, with Vince McMahon, he's obviously stubborn. And sometimes it crosses over into stupid. It is what it is. You can both respect the man and admire what he's achieved and accomplished uh, throughout his professional business career and still point to some of the really bad decisions he's made, like looking at the entire picture. He's both stubborn, and at times that stubbornness creates stupidity and makes him stupid in some of the things that he does. And I look at this whole idea of trying to relaunch the XFL, of being an example of a couple of things. One, Vince not being able to let something go. He's frustrated that it failed the first time. And once you started talking about the XFL, it brought back some memories and brought back some thoughts and a deep down passion and desire to be accepted by the mainstream like he feels like he's never going to be being associated with professional wrestling. I get it and I understand it to a degree, but Jesus Christ, you just got Fox to agree to air SmackDown. They gave you a shit ton of money to do so. USA Network is going to give you a shit ton of money for Raw. That is pretty mainstream and legit, if you ask me. But just couldn't let it go. And an old man bored with his time, limited amount of time on the world, probably wants to sit there and follow passion and do something different. And I get that. But this is also a stubbornness of not being able to fully admit that the first time around should have told you all you needed to know about the fact that this wasn't a good idea and it was destined to fail and it ultimately did fail and to where now it has crossed over into that stupidity of well this time it's going to be different this time we're going to do this this time we're going to do that we're going to have a slow two-year launch and build up to this league in 2020 and no matter what I'm going through with it. By God, I'm going to make it work this time, damn it. It's just getting stupid. And we already know Vince McMahon sold upwards of $100 million worth of stock of his own in order to have that first kind of initial funding, the deposit on the XFL, if you will, being $100 million. And knowing even with that, to be able to do what he's looking to do with the size and scope that he's looking to do it, the environment that he's going to be in, it's going to take a lot more money to do so. So you started seeing reports uh, late this week talking about how Vince McMahon is not looking to spend $100 million on the XFL. No, 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 no. He's looking at spending upwards of $500 million. That's half a bill, folks. $500 million dollars over the first three years of the XFL. $500 million of his own damn money to chase a fucking football fantasy. Must be nice. That is the personification, the epitomization of fuck you money. If you ever wanted to know what fuck you money looks like, Vince McMahon, XFL 2.0, that's fuck you money. Because he's like, I can't take it to the grave with me. I can still pass down to my son and daughter and the grandkids a shit ton of money, a company that is positioned well for years to come. I want to have some fun, by God. I'm having a late life crisis. He's already got convertibles and motorcycles and big houses and all this other stuff. Now he needs something else to fuel his competitive juices. And look, I applaud the dude for being serious about this. He's earned the right, ultimately, whether we're gonna criticize him or not, and I surely will, he's earned the right to take that fuck you money and say fuck you to all of us and people like me and do what the hell he wants with it. That's his right to do so. It's foolish, destined to fail. But if he wants to do it, go ahead, Vince. If you wanna get nuts, let's get nuts. But $500 million. it was really ironic. I was reading online about this news, and one of the articles was pointing out how uh, one of the reasons that it would require this level of investment is Vince would have to fund insurance for the league, which, as you can imagine, when dealing with football, can be incredibly expensive. I'm like, huh, how ironic. 
You want to know where that television money went? It did go to insurance, but not for the freaking wrestlers in WWE. Ultimately, if you think about it, the new TV deals with USA and Fox are basically going to help enable Vince and his XFL addiction over the next few years, starting in 2020. And what's even more ridiculous about this is Vince is still sticking with the plan. All the while, he got somebody to jump him, and you've got another football league coming out in 2019. So the marketplace is even going to be more saturated. $500 million is a lot of damn money. And the thing with me with Vince is, yes, you can do what you want with it. You've earned the right to do so. And it is wise to sit there and utilize a significantly overvalued, overinflated stock market in order to sit there and get your $500 million and still be vastly the majority owner and shareholder of WWE, which is exactly what he's going to be able to do. There's nothing wrong with that. That is smart. But what's not smart about this is trying to stubbornly stick to your guns to the point where it goes past the borderline of stupidity saying it failed the first time, but this time it's destined to succeed, and all the while taking all of this financial risk yourself. Why, damn it all. If you're that bored, then go find some new wives or do something. If you're going into this, you have to be comfortable with the thought of opening a new business, of being able to lose every single dollar that you invest in it. And also knowing when starting a new business that it could take you a long while to generate any real profit. It can potentially take years. So Vince is looking down the barrel of investing $500 million. That's about 166.66 mil per year into a product. And he might not initially even get half of that back when all is said and done. And all the while, instead of doing what is smart, and taking other people's money and leveraging it for what he wants to do, he is taking his own money via selling stock to sit there and take all the risk on himself, to leave everything on himself in order to fund this fantasy football venture. And that's what it is. He wants to be fantasy football guy. Not fantasy football in terms of stats and drafting players and this and that. He wants to be fantasy football commissioner. He wants to play in the big leagues. He wants to be like his good boy Trump and be a guy that was heavily involved in a football league, which, by the way, also failed, just like every other football league not named the AFL that tried to compete against the NFL failed over the past however many damn years. The AFC, the AFL, they had teams merge into the NFL. They still ultimately didn't survive long term on their own as separate entities. And we've had other examples, the XFL, the UFL, uh, these different leagues that have been tried and have failed miserably. There has to be a better use of your money, Vince, than $500 million to do fantasy football shit with the very realistic possibility that the crap wouldn't last very long and very well might not work. Because as we know with Vince's history, if it is not directly related to professional wrestling, or excuse me, because he so desperately desires to be valued and respected by the mainstream, sports entertainment, then he's so desperate that he's willing to put a half billion dollars, ultimately, of his own money at stake to try and get this pathetic validation. Vince, you don't need the validation. You are a household name. Your company is a household name. You have made bucket loads of fucking money over the years. It doesn't matter if you freaking ran a porn studio. It doesn't matter if you did this or you did that. What you have done is legal, and that's what matters, and you've made a shit ton of money off of it. And for a guy that sits there and is supposed to not care, then why in the fuck in this particular case, where so many other things, you don't care what your audience or the customers say. Why in this case do you give a fuck? You have fuck you money. Who gives a shit? And maybe that's your whole thing with the XFL. I've got a crap ton of F you money. Who gives a shit? It fails, it fails. So be it. But damn it. You have ways you can actually fuel some of that competitive juice and actually have a chance to make a profit or reinvest in your core business competency and make even more money. 
To me, that would be the logical thing to do. To me, when you're talking about legacy and all of this, why go down the track of failing once again outside of the wrestling world? I just don't get it. You want to burn $500 million so damn badly? Buy a couple of islands. Shit, I don't know. This is just foolish. Just foolish. And we're going to look back on this in a few years, unless something really, truly unforeseen happens, and say, what a stupid idiot Vince was for burning a half million dollars. If he even got to get to the point of lasting three years to burn all of that half billion dollars, just to sit there and have history repeat itself again. That is stubbornness that becomes sheer stupidity.